What's up everybody? I'm B True and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be playing Yu-Gi-Oh with the Yu-Gi-Oh Pro application. Uh, so basically what this is, it allows you to build any deck that you want uh, and with any cards that are in the game and then battle other people so you can test stuff out and, uh, and try out a bunch of different things. So uh, I released the videos with the, the Yu-Gi-Oh card openings a little while ago. There was a little bit of, of uh, you know, interest in it. So I figured I would I'd put some duels on, on the channel with me playing with this. See what you guys think about it. Definitely please comment below. And let me know what you think of this kind of video if you are interested or want to see it at all. And if not, I just won't put them up uh, so that way I'm not, you know, putting a bunch of content out that people don't want. But anyway, what I'm going to show you today, this is the profile of one of my favorite decks of all time. This is the Gishki deck. So the Gishki deck is a bunch of water monsters <clears throat> uh, that focus on ritual summoning so that is uh, that is what they are you know their whole deck is sort of revolved around is ritual summoning very strong Gishki monsters now there are a lot of Gishki monsters that you can ritual summon but Zeal Gygus here is by far in my opinion the best and the only one that I have in the deck because he's the only one that I need <clears throat> so everything else in this deck is built around getting Zeal Gygus onto the field so first off we've got Gishki Beast. What this guy does is when he's normal summoned, it allows you to summon, special summon one Gishki monster in your graveyard uh, and special summon it. So, you summon him and then you're able to bring back another Gishki monster that is in the graveyard back out onto the field. Gishki Shadow here is very important because, one, he can be used as the entire tribute for a ritual summon of a water monster, meaning that this shadow alone is enough to ritual summon Zeal Gygus. Uh, you can also discard this card from your hand to search out and get one Gishki Aquamere, which is the ritual summon, uh, from your deck. So you, say you can discard him from your hand in order to get the ritual summon card. And then this guy here, Vision, again, you can be used as the entire tribute. And you can also discard him to get one ritual monster from your deck. So... Between Shadow and Vision, you're able to get the Ritual Summon cards and the Ritual Monsters. So these are the most important monsters in this deck. Next up, we got Gishki Abyss. Now, when he is summoned, you're able to pull one Gishki monster with a 1,000 or less attack or defense from your deck, which means you are able to pull Zeogigas because he has zero defense. So you're able to use Abyss to get Zeogigas into your hand. And then last but not least, we got Finchess, uh, who allows you, when you summon her, it, whatever, you can banish uh, the card in order to get another monster out onto the field. So you can use for Abyss, and then you can use Abyss to get Zilgigas. So you can go Finchess into Abyss into getting Zilgigas uh, into your hand. <laughs> then we got Dark Hole, because, you know, it's Dark Hole. Salvage is able to get two water monsters with 1,500 or less attack. Uh, from your graveyard back into your hand. And then what's awesome about this ritual card is if this ritual card and a ritual monster are in your graveyard at the same time, you can activate this effect to pull the ritual card back into your deck and then the ritual monster into your hand. So it's really great for getting these cards back into your deck in hand. Mystical Space Typhoon because they're, you know, you need those, they're good. Mound of the Bound Creator, because Zeogigas is a 10-star monster, and Mound of the Bound Creator makes it so that Zeogigas cannot be destroyed uh, by card effects, and it cannot be targeted, so it basically makes Zeogigas immune to uh, being destroyed except through battle in uh, when he's on the field. So that is those two together are a really deadly combination. Also, whenever a 10-star monster kills another player's monster, uh, that the other player takes a thousand damage so they can't just keep putting uh, monsters in defense because then you'll eventually whittle them down also aquamir meditation allows you to reveal one ritual spell card so this one in your hand in order to get two gishki monsters in your graveyard back into your hand is that's any gishki monster torrential tribute because it's again awesome call the haunted because it's awesome breakthrough skill because it's awesome uh, last but not least Fish Death Chart allows you to tribute one fish monster, destroy a card on the field, and draw a card. So it allows you to go plus one and get rid of a card uh, on their side of the field. And you can use it with either this Finchess or Gisky Abyss. So you can use Gisky Abyss's, Gish Abyss's um, 
You can use their effect to get Zilgigas into your hand. Then you can pop Fish Death Charge to get rid of, get him off the field, and draw another card and destroy a card in the other field. So, you know. So this, the deck is very good at recycling cards back constantly. Uh, the cards that you need, you just keep recycling them back and forth and getting these Zilgigas back into your hand and onto the field. So you can very easily get two and th or three of these on the field in one turn, uh, which is very very strong and then when he's on the field you can pay a thousand life points to draw a card and if it's a gishki monster uh you can shuffle one card on the field back into the deck so you can shuffle a card on their side of the field back into their deck again very powerful now for the xyz's uh we'll start with the four stars we got this is not a complete extra deck just because i, I haven't really kept up with what i need for the extra deck but i know so gaga -ga -ga cowboy uh you can get he, he's very versatile with uh, the attack position. He gets the uh, extra 1,000 attack. Um, or you can do a quick 800 burn damage to the opponent if they only have like 800 left. You could just instant win. Castell, in order to get a card off the field, that is a problem. Rebellion Dragon, so that you can take care of any monster regardless of how much attack they have. Uh, super two of these super dreadnought cannon Gustavs because uh, once per turn you can detach one XYZ material monster to inflict 2,000 damage to your opponent. Now, having Zeal Gigas's in your graveyard is actually a good thing because of how many ways you're able to get them back into your hand. So you don't have to worry about getting rid of a Zeal Gigas for this passive or for this uh, this effect. That actually is a good thing. Plus, you do instant 2,000 burn damage to the opponent. So, a, a nice little one-turn kill strategy that you have here is you take Gishki Zeal Gaius, right? You get two of them on the field. Uh, you use their effects to clear the monsters. Attack with both of them, so you're going to do 6,400 damage. They got uh, 1,600 life points left. Then you go to your main phase two. Summon Gustav here. Use his effect. 2,000 damage gone. Boom. Done. One turn kill. Then we got Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon, Super Duh, whatever. Detach one XYZ material monster from this card, target one face up monster on the field, uh, and that target is unaffected by card effects except for its own effects. So that is just in case, um, you know, this, and this, this is a very situational card. Most of the time, you're not going to want to uh, pick this one when you are looking for ways to XYZ with your Zilgaius. Sky Palace Gangradai, uh, so you can detach one XYZ material, target one card your opponent controls, uh, destroy that target, and if you do, inflict a thousand damage. So this is a slightly lesser version of Gustav Max. So this allows you to destroy a card and then do a thousand damage, whereas this allows you to just do two thousand damage. So if you if they have less than two thousand uh, life points, go with Gustav for the instant win. Otherwise, you can go with Gangra Die in order to uh, get their one of their cards off the field and also do some burn damage. Last but not least, this guy involves three level 10 monsters, but he's got 5,000 attacks, so that's a good thing. Uh, you can detach one XYZ material from this card, destroy all spell and trap cards your opponent controls. Your opponent cannot activate spell or trap cards in response to this effect. So... If your opponent has a very strong back line, this guy is really good, obviously, because he's got 5,000 attack, uh, and then he's able to completely clear their uh, back row. Uh, so again, situational, but very good. So those are your main choices for XYZ summoning with this deck. So I think I talked long enough about the deck profile. Uh, it's time to show you guys what the strategy is for this deck here and how to effectively use it. So let's go jump into a duel. Okay, here we go. Uh, we uh, not a good start. We lost. Uh, we lost the, the first turn. But so let's see here. We got two breakthrough skills: Call of the Haunted, Mystical Space Typhoon, and a Gishki Vision. Not the best starting hand, honestly. We are a little bit behind. Uh, we can't really start any of our good combos right now. But that's okay. We're gonna see see how this goes. Oh, actually, he chose me to go first. Okay, wasn't paying attention. So we're going to set those three cards down, and we will end our turn. That's really all we can do. Uh, we don't want to use the effect of Gishi Vision right off the bat because we're not entirely sure uh, what we're going to draw, and that is sort of one of the important things you got to know. So, 
Okay, still no idea what this guy is running. Got 11 cards in his extra deck. Can we view? Oh, we can view his extra deck. Never mind. It won't show us. Okay, that's fine. So pretty pretty traditional start here. Three cards down. So we're going to use our Mystical Space Typhoon on this card. We got there. Ooh, Magic Cylinder. Okay, all right. Now. Uh, okay, so unfortunately, that's the wrong card that we need there. Um, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to activate his effect. Pull his ill guy, I guess, into my hand. And end my turn. Because again, there isn't a lot that I can do. I can use Call of the Haunted to get him back out onto the field. I would rather use Call of the Haunted for uh, Zeal Gygus, but we'll see. So basically, the strategy here, what you want to do, is you want to use Zeal Gygus to, as the tribute for another Zeal Gygus. Because, ah, uh, okay, alright. So, we got Bubble Man here with this card is summon draw two cards yes i am going to use breakthrough skill to negate that because you don't want him drawing two cards so he flipped up his bubble man he does not he's using an elemental hero deck so now he does not get to draw his cards so that's actually really good that breakthrough skill helps us out a lot there but like i was saying you want to use uh zeal Gygus to ritual summon a zeal Gygus. I'll take that 800, no problem. Because then when you get Zeogigas and a Ritual card in your graveyard, you can get the Ritual card back into your deck and then Zeogigas right back into your hand. And perfect. So now I can actually show you exactly uh, what we're doing here. So draw no, no cards and have no cards in your hand to activate. That's okay. So we're going to use this combo right here. So what we do is we use Gishki Aquamir. And we use one in order to summon the other. So what we're going to do first, we're going to activate his skill, see what card we get. So we got a Finchus. Okay, now, what we can do is, we can summon him, and we'll activate the effect to banish him, and get a Gishki Abyss on the field. Now, with Gishki Abyss, we can hit yes, uh, chain another card, no. And what I want to do now is I want to use a shadow. Are you ready for this? This is going to be a pretty nasty play. So then we activate our Gishki Aqua Mirror to get the Zeogigas back into our hand. Okay. Then we activate shadow in order to get the ritual card back into our hand. Now what we do is we activate Call of the Haunted in order to get Gishki Shadow back. And then we activate Gishki Aquamir. And we use Zilgaigus and we use Shadow. So now we put Shadow right back in and now we have a second Zilgaigus on the field. So we activate his effect. We get Salvage, even better. So now we can use Salvage in order to get these two guys back into our hand. Now, uh, we don't quite have what we need to get the third Zeogigas onto the field. But that's okay. That's a pretty good turn right there. So now what we can do is we can go... We'll attack. Hope he doesn't have any... Ah, uh, son of a bitch. That's only on... Uh, Alright, well, that sucks. But at least this way, oh no, we can't. Why can't we uh, activate this? I don't know, okay. We'll go to our main phase two, activate this. We will get Gishki Zeogigas back into our hand. I uh, don't want to do that. And I'm gonna keep him in my hand for right now and we'll see how this next turn goes. I could have summoned him back out, but for right now, I'm going to leave him in my hand to see what happens. So this guy seems to be running a lot of trap cards. 
in his deck. Uh, maybe a polymerization? Nope, okay. Uh, why would he attack with Burstinatrix? That's, uh, that's weird. Okay, whatever. He just saved me 400 life points there. Thank you, sir. Okay. Perfect. So, first off, we're going to use Dark Hole. Clear the field. Then, we're going to go... Uh, first, so we're going to activate Gishki Vision. In order to get another Zeal Gygus into our hand. Okay, so he's using Call of the Haunted, huh? So he's going to pull back his Bubble Man, or his... He pulls back his Bubble Man. So now I get Zeal Gygus. Okay. So then we use... I still can't... Uh, yeah, all right. So then we use Gishki Shadow in order to get Gishki Aqua Mirror. And then... Same thing as last time. We go Aquamir, Zilgigas for Zilgigas. Boom. Activate Aquamir to get Aquamir back in our deck and Zilgigas back in our hand. Now I'm going to pay 1,000 life points, draw a card, Mount of the Bound Creator. Absolutely perfect. So with Mount of the Bound Creator, now Zilgigas cannot be destroyed by a card effect cannot be targeted he can only be killed by battle uh that is it so that's absolutely perfect right there now we're gonna go battle phase so then not only does he take the damage from that but then from mount of bound creator he also is going to take an extra 1000 life points of damage so he's using hero signal Not quite sure why he's using Hero Signal right now, but, you know, whatever. That's fine. He's still going to take the 1,000 damage from uh, from having... Whenever this card destroys a card and sends it to the graveyard. Mount of the Bound Creator with Zeal Gygus is extremely deadly. It's such a good combination. Okay, so he pulled out Elemental Hero Ocean, huh? All right. Well, that's going to be it for our turn. There's nothing else we can do here. We haven't gotten a lot of our recycling magic cards this turn, uh, which is... Now, let's see. I think... I Yes, so I can cancel this, uh, which I am going to do. So my breakthrough skill, cancel his effect... So again, uh, we were able to use Breakthrough Skill to cancel his ability to draw cards back out on the field. That Mount of the Bound Creator does not help us. Uh, that doesn't uh, do anything. And then again, I'm going to sacrifice 1,000 life points. We got a Mystical Space Typhoon. Okay. Well, he didn't activate this card last time, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to destroy this card. Because it ended up being... Okay. Because I, I knew that that wasn't anything that was going to uh, to hurt me here. Because he didn't he didn't use it last turn. So use that. He loses a thousand life points. Go ahead and end our turn. Now it's a little bit dangerous but dangerous with your Zeal Gygases because you can end up running low on life points. Um, from your own damage. <clears throat> However, the ability to send cards back to the user's uh, deck is very strong also plus you're able to keep plus wanting with uh extra cards so it's worth it until you get down around this uh like you know one shot kill area so he pulled elemental hero blade edge into his and he left burstinatrix out there interesting all right so we'll set that card can't do anything i am not going to spend the thousand life points because it's not worth it so now all we have to do is destroy one more card through battle, and we win. So he can't place a card in defense mode. 
can't place a card in attack mode. He only has two cards in his hand, so this should be, and nothing on the field, this should be the game. Unless he gets super lucky. Nope. One card in defense mode, and there is nothing that he can do about that. So, just in case we're going to do that, didn't end up helping. However, what we can do is we can activate, to show a little more of the combo, show him our Gishki Aquamir using our Aquamir Meditation, and then what we can do is we can pull two cards back into our hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go boom, boom, pull those two guys in. We're going to use, so we'll use that, get him out on the field, and then we're going to activate, this is all just, I don't actually need to be doing this, but. And I have two cards on the field that cannot be destroyed by card effect, which is obviously super strong. Uh, and then I could use Gishi Shadow to get the another, um, but I couldn't actually put this third one on the field. But what I'm going to do is, because I don't know what this card is, this card could be a flip effect monster. Uh, and I know that um, he has no way of stopping me from doing this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to special summon Gustav Max, not even worry about the uh the battle phase activate his effect right now and win so that way uh i didn't have to worry about any flip effects because i wasn't going to flip anything up but just direct damage and that's why gustav max the rail can is very very strong because once you get him below 2,000 life points you can just summon him out xyz uh you detest the material and automatically win so anyway, this was not the best uh, demonstration of the power of the, the Gishki deck, just because I didn't get lucky for a lot of things. But you see the you see the um, what the the strategy is, right? So you use one Zilgaigas to summon another Zilgaigas, then you can get that Zilgaigas right back into your hand and uh, put the the um, the ritual card back into your deck. And then if you you know use like a Gishki Shadow, you can get the ritual card back. And then you summon another Zeal Gygus. So you can very easily get two, sometimes three Zeal Gyguses on the turn, on the field, all in one turn. And when you mix that with Mount of the Bound Creator, uh, you know, that's obviously, you've got three cards that can't be destroyed by anything but battle, which is super strong, plus their ability to uh, draw cards and then potentially remove cards from the field. So Zeal Gygus, very strong. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me. If you did enjoy this video, please click the like button down below and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with future duels and decks that I will be previewing and using and showing. And like I said, please comment below. Let me know if you want to see more of this, any decks you want me to try out, um, or if I should even continue doing this at all. And if not, I mean, by, just let me know. Uh, it's not a problem. I just won't put this kind of content out anymore. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate every single one of you. Have a great day and peace.